Hey guys, it's Cho and I'm back with another video. Okay, it's only been three days since my last video, but things have gone and moved in a very swift and professional way. As you read the title, um, Estee Lauder has officially, officially let go of their executive, John Dempsey, for his racially insensitive meme that also included a joke about COVID. Now, let's just jump right into what Estee Lauder had to say. But before we do that, if you don't know what that meme is that he is essentially being fired for, um, definitely go watch the other video. Um, I'm not gonna post the meme here, but the meme is in the previous video that I did. So yes, please go watch that video for a little bit more context. So let's get right into what Estee Lauder had to say. Um, they say, dear colleagues, today John Dempsey was informed he must leave the company effective this week. This decision is the result of his recent Instagram posts, which do not reflect the values of the Estee Lauder companies, have caused widespread offense, are damaging to our efforts to drive inclusivity both inside and outside our walls, and do not reflect the judgment we expect of our leaders. Inclusion, diversity, and equity are core to our company's values and priorities globally. Furthermore, over the past two years, we have worked together as an organization to advance our approach to racial equity and have taken a hard look at where we can and should do better. Together, we are making progress against our commitments to our employees, our partners, and consumers. Our employees and especially our senior leaders are accountable to continue driving our progress and to respect the values of this company for the long term. Oh. Now, like I said, um, Estee Lauder is full of shit. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. Okay, let me just tell you that right now. This statement is just PR. I'm, I know that they hired some black girl to do their PR, some, you know, um, DEI expert to write this for them. I'm glad you're getting paid, homegirl, okay? I'm glad you're getting paid by Estee Lauder. But this is some bullshit because this is not, they don't have the actions to back up this statement. Their history does not align with the statements that they're making today. How do I know this? Look at Tracy Danielle. Justice for Tracy Danielle. Yes, I'm going to talk about this video because nobody else is talking about this video. Let's talk about Tracy Danielle. Go watch that video, okay? All you need to know is that Estee Lauder does not live up to these standards. And even, we'll get into it, but even even this statement and the actions they're they're doing don't prove what they're saying um also them giving him the choice to leave is interesting because they're not i guess legally firing him they are effectively firing him but he has the choice to leave they're giving him the choice to leave and so what that means is John Dempsey is going to retire from Estee Lauder with a massive retirement package, I'm sure. You know, I don't know. I can I can speculate and theorize and come up with conspiracy theories about why companies do this. As someone that has been in business and managed a business, um, sometimes Firing someone is more costly to the business because you have to, you know, face the threat of legal action. Maybe you're getting sued by this person. I don't know if John Dempsey um, would sue them for wrongful termination. Maybe he knows that there's a lot of skeletons in the Estee Lauder closet. Maybe this behavior is commonplace among executives. If you have any stories about Estee Lauder, Please DM them to me. I'd love to know. You will see. Everything in the dark comes to the light. That's all I gotta say. But, you know, sometimes 
companies don't want to deal with lawsuits or being exposed in a lawsuit. Sometimes they don't want to pay for, you know, um, unemployment. Um, you know, they don't want the unemployment taxes to go up. Um, there's always a lot of different reasons why they would want an employee to either quit or leave on their own. And I'm going to just assume that this is um, the most cost effective way for them to part ways with John Dempsey. That being said, I do believe that their statement would have had more credence if they actually fired him for what they're accusing him of doing. Now, before we go on any further, I just want to say that it's my personal opinion that the meme in and of itself wasn't even racist. Go back to that earlier video, that previous video where I talk about my opinion and my reaction of the meme. I'm very confused why the meme is funny. I'm confused in what context people would use it. I just don't, I don't get it. I don't think it's funny. Um, I also don't think it's innately racist because I don't think that the use of the N-word is always racist. That's just my opinion. Count me if you want to, that's on you. But I just don't think that the use of the N-word is racist all the time. And I also don't prescribe to the idea that white people can't use the N-word. Now I know, I know, shoot me now. Shoot me dead now. I get it. I know. You're reeling. I know. As a black man, I just said that. Deal with it. But that's just my opinion. Now, do I think that John was an idiot? I, do I think that he was being, you know, maybe racially insensitive? I think he should have had enough foresight to know that this would not be okay for him to do and that he would receive a lot of backlash. Um, maybe he's just super arrogant. I don't know, but you're going to see. Let's get into John's apology. Let's talk about that because where I was going to have a little bit of grace for John, I have no grace for him. I'm glad that he's in the situation that he's in now where he has to be forced to leave this company because he's just, to be quite frank, He's incompetent is what he is. And that alone is deserving of him being fired, okay? Um, let's get into his apology, which happened, he posted this apology before the news came out about him being fired. He says, I am terribly sorry and deeply ashamed that I hurt so many people when I made the horrible mistake of carelessly reposting a racist meme without reading it beforehand. There are not enough words to express my remorse and sorrow. Not only did I hurt many people whom I respect, the terrible mistake that I made has undermined everything I have been working for since I began my career 31 years ago. The meme is the furthest thing from what I stand for, and I should have never reposted it. I am so sorry that I let down the company that I have dedicated my life's work to, as well as its employees, artists, friends, and colleagues. I hope that in time, people will judge me not for this awful mistake, but for my lifetime of words and actions, which demonstrate my respect for all people. You know what you can do with your apology, you can kiss it. And anybody else that go along with you on your fake, phony ass spiritual journey can kiss it too. Now listen, y'all, once again, nobody knows how to just own it. Like nobody knows how to just own their behavior and move on, okay? Um, this is also bullshit. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but you mean to tell me that you have 75,000 followers on Instagram, a verified account on Instagram, you work for one of the biggest beauty brands in the entire world. You are an executive in that brand, that beauty brand. And you mean to tell me that you don't read what you post before you post it? That is some bullshit. Oh, I said you're a liar. Either you're a liar or you're incompetent. And I think both of those are worthy of you being fired. The racist meme alone, that right there is worth you being fired.
to be quite frank with you. The fact that you are posting things on your, your social media without reading them is so reckless. It's beyond reckless. And I just don't understand how you could do such a thing. And you know, John Dempsey, he calls it racist himself. So I guess when you finally read the meme that you posted, when the first time you read it after you posted it, it's when you decided it was racist. It's so strange, guys. This whole story is the strangest story I've covered in a long time. Um, it's crazy, but the reception to his apology was overwhelmingly positive. Let's get into some of those comments because those are interesting. So, um, one person says, I know you, John. It was a horrible mistake and it does not represent who you really are. I hope this can be put in the past. Um, one person says, you are always hilarity. I think she means hilarious. I'm sure you meant no harm in the joke. Um, homegirl May, this is what May says. Social media is terrifying. We have to read everything we post over and over in case there is something we missed, which you unintentionally did. May has lost her mind, y'all. Are people really out here just not reading what they're posting on social media? This is the strangest thing. I, I mean, what? I, comment below. Please comment below if you are someone who posts something on your social media without reading it. P please, please tell me because Am I crazy? Am I the crazy one? I'm sorry I'm like so animated during this video, but I'm, it's, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have to be the crazy one. Let's go over some more comments. Laura Slat Slatkin says, you pioneered the concept of diversity and inclusion way before this movement started. And anyone that knows your contributions could never accuse you of being racist. People who are ra true racist should suffer the consequences of their actions. You are not a racist. This is just not fair. So John, John pioneered diversity, inclusion, and equity. Okay, John. <laughs> all these blue check marks are coming out to defend him. All these, you know, celebrities, all these, um, professional accounts it's interesting to me very interesting um john you have championed the marginalized from your heart since way before boardrooms had that on the checklist your loyalty and kindness speaks volumes you are deeply loved and respected okay well that's enough of those comments so i actually commented on his instagram post myself with my own comment and this is what I said. I said, so you often repost things without reading them? This seems awfully reckless. And the comment stayed up. There was a lot of discussion under that comment. And um, he didn't comment, he didn't reply. Um, but I see a lot of charges that um, he's out here mass deleting comments, which is why it seems like he has received such a positive um, endorsement from a lot of friends and colleagues on his post. So I'm not sure if comments are actually being deleted or not because mine was somewhat negative and it's still up there right now. Um, but anyway, guys, I just wanna know, what do you think about his apology? What do you think about Estee Lauder's decision to let him retire? Um, let me know your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and to like the video. If not, you're going to have acne, like horrible cystic acne this weekend. And I know you probably have a good date coming up. We don't want to have cystic acne during a first date. So like the video and subscribe. Bye.